I respect the sport of American football, but I'm of the opinion that balls should be round. All the other stuff we can keep the same, but let's consider a variation with a round ball. It took four non-round American footballs to make this superior Frankenstein round boy. I carried the 92 cells around with me on a recent ball project which led to stitches at a proper football match, a pyramid, and flying through the air over America. I couldn't wait to get home and finish it off, pump it up, test it out. I had a dream of using it to play three sports at once. Unfortunately, I made an ironic mistake. I didn't adjust the size of the cells enough to account for the thickness of the ball material, so there's not quite enough room for the ball bladder to fully inflate, meaning this ball isn't round either. I'm gonna to have to try this again. I don't think it would be possible to create a standard 32 piece ball as there's just not enough usable leather in each boot. Luckily, I have a secret weapon, the 92 piece ball construction. The cells on this ball are small enough so I can get around six to eight cells from each boot. It took a good few hours to cut everything out. I had to destroy each boot individually with scissors then try to figure out the best approach to get usable cells. As soon as I started sewing this together, I knew it was gonna be a legendary ball. I was so excited about it that I managed to sew it together in three days, which is a personal record. I put thought into the position and rotation of each cell, sometimes lining up combinations of stripes across different generations and making sure that the visually prominent red cells didn't cluster too tightly. There's a huge range in textures between the cells, but because they all come from the same shoe line, from roughly the same era, there is some cohesion to it. I'm really curious how it's going to perform as a football. Who should I send it to for testing? prototyping a completely new ball construction. I think it's my most mental one yet. It has 232 cells in total, more than any ball I've ever made. It's based on the standard 32 piece ball design, but the cells are made up of three smaller shapes. Eight half hexagons come together to create a bigger hexagon. And this little shape is made from extending the lines from all of the half hexagons. And five of these little shapes create a pentagon. In case you were wondering, yes, the more cells a ball has, the better the ball is. It's like horsepower in cars or number of blades in a razor. It's just better. All right, fine, maybe not. It's definitely much worse if you're trying to make a viable product. It would have to be a pretty expensive ball if it was a product. It's impractical to the point of sex. I love it. I love how the design turned out. It's mesmerizing to look at. The ball isn't perfect. I need to adjust the size of the cells by about half a millimeter. I'll do that when I remake it. I need a name for this construction. 